Hello, hello everyone, and I think, uh, this is the last video I did, I haven't had my haircut recorded, we're getting it shaved off just in time to freeze to death in the middle of the night doing dumpster dives. Okay, so lots of interesting stuff, lots of interesting stuff. Uh, I do think I showed it off in the last video. Uh, I did get a PlayStation TV just in case I didn't show it off. $15, good deal. I'm pretty sure I showed that off. Uh, I'm going to do a short video on what I think about that, but I don't think there will be too much complicated about it. So what do we got going on? So first thing, let's see, let's look at this stack here. Went to my local pawn shop, which is the reminiscence of the local game store, because uh, I'm pretty sure I explained it before that they moved location, game time moved location, and they moved into a pawn shop. And uh, I don't usually get to go there too often because they're like on the other side of town and they don't get too many trades too often. But I do like to stop in and try and be supportive because there ain't a lot of places that carry old stuff and they do carry old stuff. So, did find some nice and really cheap stuff. Nightcaster Defeat the Darkness for the original Xbox, $2.00. They buffed it, so it looks clean. Munchie's Odyssey, uh, for one dollar. It was, uh, a little damaged looking. They buffed it. Samurai Showdown for five dollars for the original Xbox. Uh, I had some light scratches, but considering they were so nice to actually buff these two, I went ahead and just said it would be alright. And then, uh, Rogue Trooper, which, uh, I actually remember... Uh, Adam Cecil talking about this odd game, which uh, was published by Rebellion, and it looked uh, perfectly fine if I remember quickly. Yeah, they all have the booklets and everything, and this one was three dollars. So they they were all really really cheap. That was pretty cheap. Let's see. Goodwill. Let's see. Oh, lots lots of stuff that looked like. Oh, uh, let's see. Stuff I got trade from last week for some of the dive stuff I gave. Uh, a sealed PS1 game I've never heard of. Uh, it actually has Taito, but the uh, Western publisher I've never heard of, if uh, right there with a weird duck. Uh, it looks like the, the type of gameplay, it might be kind of hard to see with the foil on it, but it's like one of those paint games where you like an icon and you're like, you know, trying to get from one edge to another edge and it reveals pitchel. So, um, it has a very simplistic looking case, but sealed! And, uh, that might be nice to play. I played a few games like that. Now, to, for the sake of just getting something, there was this, um, Just Cause. Uh, Dan always says Just Cause is really fun. I need to change its case. Because these blockbuster cases are never big enough for the fucking booklets, but it has a lot of light scratches. I don't know if I want to buff this or just um, maybe just have it for the case remains and try to get a bell copy. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, it doesn't look like it has any deep... I don't remember if this was in good condition. Um, yeah, it's in decent condition. It has some smudges. Uh, P.O. Jackson's King Kong. But, uh, I would probably just prefer to get the, uh, 360 version of that. But, eh, it's a good condition if I don't want it. Now, what was weird with the Just Cause at first, I thought the case thing was, um, fake. Because like, the little smidges of white were sticking out. So I thought it was printed. But it actually had this Blockbuster cover underneath it. So... It's weird, they... I, I don't know, it's just... I don't know, it's garbage now. Uh, no fine thrifting. This I got for the sake of maybe one day it would come useful, because these kind of accessories usually become more desirable as the system becomes older. It is a transfer cable from the old 360 to the new 360. And, uh, yeah, the old 360s are made like pieces of junk. So this will probably see some use in the future down the road, but not anytime soon, probably. Uh, and let's see, here's something. I totally got this because it was cheap and it had everything. Uh, let's see, what they want for three dollars? Eh, some people probably would say it wasn't worth three dollars, but it has its book. It even has a little ad card in that. But it is Shaq Fu for the Sega Genesis. Uh, 
notoriously horrible game that I always like to mention. That was so notorious, it had a site devoted to asking people to hunt down and send it to them so they could burn them and destroy them from all existence. Um, here's something funny. A sealed nunchuck. And you might be like, why'd you get a sealed nunchuck? Don't you have enough nunchucks? Um, I recently went to my GameStop with a list of DS games. Because DS games, the prices went... <sighs> there were shitloads of cheap DS games. And there's a lot of them I've been looking, meaning to ask. So I got um, locations and such and asked them if they could ask them to send them to them so I could buy them. And they're all like between 99 cents to like two ninety nine each. With only one six nine nine, one nine nine nine, and the Sukaden game for fourteen nine nine, I believe, which was the most expensive one. But uh, some gentlemen, why? Because they had to go between uh, making the calls and the customer, so it actually took a long time. But one gentleman came in with a three sixty game in this. He wanted to sell them. They said the 360 game, they could give 25 cents, and they couldn't take this. And they can't take this because it's in its packaging. So uh, the store is supposed to assume it's stolen, even though it's in, you know something you can't actually even buy new. Can you even buy the nunchucks, at least in this packaging new anymore? I, I don't think you even can. I think they're in completely different packaging now, aren't they? But, um... So, uh... He basically uh, said, okay, for the 25 cents. And then he said, uh, what uh, original Xbox games do you got? And they said, uh, we don't, obviously they don't carry them. So he said, throw them in trash, and he left. So she was about to throw them in trash, and I was like, well, if I could be so bold, and she just sits in front of me. So, <laughs> so I got a free nunchuck. Uh, the game is in my car still. Uh, it's some fight flight simulator game looks like themed around World War Two that um, Pixie might know it because Pixie actually um, likes a lot of games like that. Uh, let's see. Going with uh, the pawn shop, I also with those got this Axis Tactics game uh, for a good price. Uh, Twelve dollars supposed new. The case has a few dings in it, but uh, the actual cover art isn't damaged. Uh, so it was an unused copy, but uh, it goes for about, I think, 17 used, so I figured that wasn't too bad. Let's see, what was in here? Ah, uh, yes, Golden Sun. Uh, through um, people selling stuff in the area, I found a copy of Golden Sun for the DS uh, for $5, so that was a real good... You know, I didn't actually get to take a good look at because my mom picked it up for me because they couldn't meet me when I went thrifting. Yeah, it doesn't have any of the signs I'm aware of it being fake. And I, if, uh, I think in my last Dumpster Dive video, I showed that I found the case with a booklet and everything so I can complete that. Let's see, I want to show those to get on that. Uh, today, today is... The recording of this, I just got back from thrifting. So let me get all the Goodwill stuff together here and show those all at one time. Okay, so Goodwill finds for today, literally today, the recording is Freddy Fish for the Hogfish Wrestlers of Boiny Gulch. Um, I do not know if I have. This, I know I have a few different Freddy Fish games. I always can't remember which ones. But hey, it's good because, uh, you know, I got all the damn free versions of it. So I got the case in that. I can slap a disc in. Um, I have never seen this game before. It has light scratches on it. But I've never heard of it before. Um, if you ever heard of it, let me know. It looks like some kind of... Oop, camera going a little blurry though. And it's made by Mindscape Entertainment. I... Never heard of them. Uh, Wayman, this was also lightly scratched, but I have fond memories of playing Wayman. I sucked ass at it, but uh, it's a very beautiful looking game, so it was a complete copy for $3. Now here, you JRPG people are shitting, going to shit pants. Three copies of Tales of Zillia 2 for, yes, you can see it. Three ninety nine sealed if the camera will focus. 
all sealed. There were actually seven of these. Seven of these. Now, all we own Zillia too. I bought brand new to support uh, Tails still in America, and it's been doing a lot better, which is good. But uh, I plan on probably giving these away. But uh, there were seven of them. Seven of them. And what was really confusing is these are 399. They had a damaged flight simulator game for the PS3 that was pushed in here. So the disc might have been damaged. And it was also sealed. But they went $24.99 for it. I don't think I ever saw a game for that much at Goodwill. And it was a PS3 game too. So I don't. I don't fucking get that. That 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 makes absolute zero fucking sense to me. So at the Samaritan store, let's see. Yeah. No, actually, this was at Goodwill too. The second site. It has stickers all over it, but um, I don't think I owned second site for the GameCube. It's in great condition. I can't win them more. I take a quick glance. Oh, you know what? I did own a copy of it. Looks like I got it from the pawn shop because it got one of its stickles. Well, I have to compare the condition of the discs then. Well, shit. Well, I guess I got a spare copy of Second Sight. Oh, well, it was three dollars. Not a big deal. I can either give it away or try to trade it away as trade bait. But here was some really nice stuff. I got the Samaritan store. A sealed GameCube Geist. The only thing it has, it has a small nick in the plastic white there. But the rest of it is all sealed with... Uh, I'm not sure what it came from. There's like a 25% off. $14.95. Um, 08 slash 2005 stickle on there for a date. Um, but that was $5.00. These are all five dollars. Um, oh, wait. This also came from the Goodwill. A sealed copy of the Bible game for the PS2. It was three dollars. Um, it's a little mushed there, but the disc is still in place. Uh, this is like a Mario Party whip-off style game. Um, I figured I'd buy it for giggles and that. The rest of these were five dollars each, though. Uh, Pokemon Channel. Not a game that is <laughs> any good, but... Um, it's still very expensive. Last time I ever saw it, uh, some people wanted like uh, 40 bucks for it. It has all its stuff. It has the booklet. But here's what shocked me. Now, this comes with e-cards. And it actually still has all of the three. The, it's in a fold-up thing. And none of them have been punched out. So it was like, I don't know if those are valuable. But most of the e-weedle cards are pretty valuable for the fact that uh, they're hard to find. So, this is actually 100% complete then. Um, the cover art's a little lumpy. I don't know if it's gotten wet or if it's just um, been misformed somehow. It does. I mean, the insides look all right. Like, the book in that doesn't have any wall damage, so it doesn't appear to be a issue of it being wet from something but uh, five dollars uh, like I said most people want a lot for that um, and this is a very good condition of monkey super monkey ball 2 for the GameCube it was in pristine condition so I was like why not now here's where things get a little interesting so the Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker I uh, own this but inside it with the Wind Waker was the collector disc that has Legend of Zelda 1 and 2 on it. And um, I think this goes for about $40. So I got both of these for $5. Um, they're in pretty in a condition. They can probably be buffed. But um, yeah, essentially these themselves could basically pay for those. So... I always own both of these. I have the collector disc. The collector disc is in far better condition than the Wind Waker, though. So, I think they can both be buffed. And I can maybe... This alone, if I could actually sell it, I could probably make up my monies on that. So, he went through that. And through Mike... Well, I also do got two PC games here that came for the Goodwill also. Uh, a mystery mortal game here. Uh, the discs were in good condition, so I figured why not? It's 
three dollars and a Donna Wall collection heel. Um, the disc will a little beat up, but I was like, yeah, they're not completely bad. I do not know if it needs online or anything, so, you know, the usual kind of whisk thing. Um, but sometimes that's a whisk with used PC games. So with Mike, um, oh, with Mike, I got some pretty nice things. A random manga volume, it looks like it's uh, the type aimed at goals with uh, really cute guys or that kind of thing, but... Uh, I like getting a lot of different manga, especially since a lot of physical manga is harder to get these days. So I got that. I don't have any entries in that. So I got a bunch of GBA games. And an original and a Wii game. So I got for the original, I have no idea what kind of game the original Star Trek game is on the original Game Boy. But uh, that's one of the things I picked Robotech for the Game Boy Advance. I never heard of this game, Operation Armored Liberty. It looks like it was published by Majesco. So I've never heard of that one. I have no idea what it is. Uh, Namco Museum. Don't mind the Goodwill thing. It did get from him. And The Hobbit. So I have no idea how The Hobbit is on the uh, Game Boy Advance. I know the console version is very, very horrible and very cheap. Something I actually been. But here, here's the nice thing I got. File Emblem. The Sacred Stones. If it... Come on, camera. Very nice. And as far as I can tell, it shows no signs of actually being fake. Um, this is a very nice find. Um... This and the GameCube Fire Emblem games are the only ones I don't own from America. I own every other Fire Emblem game that's came out in America. So, the, and the, the GameCube title goes for like 80 plus dollars. So, it is a very expensive game. So, it's very nice to get this. Um, he liked the, these Star Wars posters. Um, if you watch Dumpster Divers, you're probably going to see a lot of them find them. I always saw one person find some. I found like seven boxes of them. These big Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront posters. And, um... They were giveaways for pre-orders, and I guess since the game didn't sell as well, since it just dropped the Thor 999 at GameStop, uh, they've had all these posters they're throwing away. And uh, I found them on two occasions, and I gave him one. He really liked them, and apparently he's very stacked in trying to sell them. Um, I don't know how many is in a box, but I'd say anywhere between 30 to 50 in a box. So if he sold them individually for a dollar each, uh, he'd make a good profit off it. He claimed uh, to me that he only paid $8 for this. So um, I did have to give a little cash, but only $8 with all the stuff I picked out, which includes this Wii game, which looks like some kind of Bejeweled style game based off the imagery on the back of there, some kind of puzzle game. So I got all those Game Boy Advance games, the original, this, the, the manga, and the Fire Emblem threw $8 in with a box of posters and a lot of the usual stuff, uh, system boxes and things. So uh, he apparently really liked those. Uh, so I have multiple more boxes. So uh, probably next time I see him, I will try and give him two of them and see uh, if he likes <laughs> likes them more still or not. Uh, I guess by then I'll find out whether um, they sold decently or not. So um, that'll be interesting to see. So uh, that's everything except one other thing. I have a box heel and uh, the address is weighing on it very big. So I am going to just cut down here so I don't accidentally reveal anyone's personal information. So I am going to open this up and I'm going to see what is in here. Is a package for me? Well, I guess a, a, hopefully it's a package for me. It would be good to have a package for someone else. Yeah. Tape, 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 Yeah, I'm just trying, I don't want to accidentally show any of the addresses for anything here, so I want to try and respect, you know, people's personal information. We're getting there, we're getting there. I want to cut very carefully because I don't want to 
cut into something. I don't know what's in here, so. And the suspense. And I see bubble wrap, so that's always a good sign. Some people don't do that, so. Okay, I think we got blue, assuming we don't need to do much else here, so let's see. I do have a little, let's see, okay, got a, a tube with bubbles on it, YOG, you are a pirate, you're a dude, okay, anyway, uh, let's see, so I got a little and I only see some things here, so I'll read the little first here. Um, I don't know what's contained in the low, so I'm not going to read it out loud quite yet until I get an idea what it is, but, uh, you know. Kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? Why? Why did you give me this? You gave me a Sega Nomad? I thought you told me this. He gave me his, his Sega Nomad. There's a bit of crack in the screen, but uh, I've never had a Sega Nomad before. I thought you said it was like. It's something you had for a long time. Um. I guess that just slides in there. Oh, that's backwards. Sure, I don't want to accidentally break it. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool, man. I I've only ever really saw a Sega Nomad once. Wow. I I really don't know what to say. I don't really know what to say, to be honest. Then... Sent me... A booklet that went with a... Desktop... python soul. Looks like it was for a book that was for desktops and screensavers and that that kind of thing. Then he sent me my Python 
the quest for the Holy Grail for the DOS. Pristine condition looking case. Disc has one fingerprint and a little dust, but no scratches. I, um, I'm, I'm going to go for a second if you don't mind, so uh, thank you for joining and I'll, I'll see you next time, okay? Praise the sun.